Everybody ready for some trivia night tonight? <laughs> Well, hey everybody, welcome to Trivia Night 2020, well, I was, I was going to say 2021, but no, that's uh, not it um, at all. Uh, happy Halloween 2021, that's what I'm about to say, and uh, let me turn down the thunder, I think it's too loud. Okay, there we go. Uh, welcome everybody in the chat, oh my god, it's been a long week, Ugh. so sorry I skipped last week, uh, hopefully everybody will be here for... Nightmare on Elm Street, the original movie. Trivia night. And we are going to have some fun tonight. Uh, this is going to be great. Uh, Montana John, what is going on? You know what I had to do to this room? Uh, still working on the set. Still working on the set. Got a lot of things I got to change up, figure it out. Uh, can't get as many toys in the frame. And I'm kind of upset about that, but we'll figure it out. Uh, had to soundproof things, too, because it sounded so much like I was in a cave. But um, we are doing good. But uh, Connie Cleary, hello. Kathy, Ed Pincus, Jughead Grayson, Montana John, Tom O. Greetings, Hepcats. What is going on, my friend? Edward Stewart. He's still possessed. <laughs> He's still possessed. Yeah, I mean, I, it was something a little bit different last night, uh, the Exorcist audiobook. But uh, I thought I'd try it because it's Halloween season. And, um, yeah, I mean, not a whole lot got into it. I don't think we broke 100. Maybe we did. I don't know. But uh, something a little bit different. Batman, what is going on? So, you haven't been here since the first trivia night back. Uh, but uh, nice to see you. Uh, Gerbeckus, what is going on, my friend? Uh, always learning. Mary, what is going on? Looks good. Hey, all of you. Uh, hearts. Um, Adam Dietrich. I love you, Batman. Okay, very, very nice. We all love Batman, don't we? In, in our own funny way. And Robin. What, what was that uh, on Saturday Night Live? The ambiguously gay duo. I can still say that, right? I mean, it was a cartoon on Saturday Night Live. Uh, big penis shaped uh, car driving up the. Anyways, uh, sidetracked a bit. Mr. D, what is going on? Nice to see you in the chat, my friend. Um, yes, uh, disregard uh, Edward. Um, he's still possessed uh, from Pazuzu. Um, Bernie Gum Gumbano, uh, what is going on? I haven't seen you in a little bit, bud. Uh, hi, this is me saying hi. I'm ready for some trivia. Okay, very well. Very good. Um, Let's see, Masula is kind of a drag. Not nearly Halloween-y enough. Okay. Uh, John Victor, what is going on? Okay, so, um, yes, I know I know things have been a little rough here uh, doing the uh, move. And uh, it was not easy. It beat the hell out of me. I'm still recovering. Okay. But uh, I am here to have some fun. Uh, hopefully everything's in focus. I'm in focus. If I'm blurry, uh, what, wasn't there a Woody Allen movie where Robin Williams was all blurry? Uh, deconstructing, um, oh geez, I can't remember the film now. Anyways, uh, Stephen Gufretta. Hi, it is Roll Call. What is going on, my friend? Nice to see you here. Um, uh, Edward Stewart is a little, uh, possessed tonight. He's a little possessed, but, uh, we will make do. Uh, Midnight's Edge After Dark. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street is my jam. Nice to have you here. Midnight's Edge After Dark. Go check them out for some some woke talk. Huh? How about that? <laughs> but anyways, um, good channel. Uh, check them out. Um, Marcelo, what is going on? Hello from the south of the world. Yes, hopefully your English is getting better by these streams and you're appreciating the uh, uh language a little bit there uh hot toddy focus 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 hot toddy what is going on 
What is going on? Uh, nice to see you, Hot Toddy. I think you only show up for the uh, trivia nights, huh? Which is fine. Uh, glad you're here. We are going to do 20 questions of Nightmare on Elm Street, the original movie. And we are going to have some fun. And first person to... Uh, Strawberry is my jam, says Tim the Enchanter. Very nice, Tim. <laughs> uh, grape is my jam. Yeah, grape. Nothing wrong with grape, right? Bunch of Italians uh, stomping down grapes in a barrel and uh, letting the juices flowing out. And uh, yeah, you got yourself some grape jam. I love it. My grandfather did that. Uh, he's straight from Sicily. Made wine, too. Made his own wine. How about that? Uh, he's allowed to do that. Uh, hey, oh, Midnight's Edge after dark. What is going on? Uh, haha, Nightmare 2 was my first R-rated horror movie in the theater. This is Hot Toddy. Uh, William Curious here. Uh, hey there, everybody, uh, he says. Uh, grape Ape. Ed Pinkus says, Grape Ape. <laughs> Gotta love it. 70s cartoon. Yeah, G Grape Ape was 70s, 80s. No, 80s. 80s. Uh, where's Ted Dino, Batman? Um, Ted is not here. Uh, anyways, uh, I like everything, especially your movie nights. Thank you, Hot Toddy. Appreciate it. Give me some raspberry jam. Raspberry's got all those little hard nugget seeds in there. Ah, I'm not a raspberry fan. Uh, unless you pick out every little one of those things. But anyways, uh, yes. So, 20 questions on, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, the original. First person who types it out gets the point. As long as I understand that you know the correct answer, you get a point. So that is how we're going to do it. Uh, the Vagrancy Horror Short Stories. Any love for the Nightmare on Elm Street TV show? Wasn't a big fan. Um, Loretta Rushing. I'm at McDonald's getting McRib Happy Halloween. <laughs> oh, boy. The McRib sandwich. Oh. See your doctor afterwards. Um, JLR, happy Halloween, family. Happy Halloween, JLR. Edwards, too. Grape Ape was also a arcade in Michigan. Interesting. Bernie Gambano, uh, this is Devil's Night. Fire it up, LOL. Yeah, you know, I'm I contemplating on doing something dark. Uh, I will be telling my gnome story tomorrow on on a, a, a channel called uh, Overlord DVD. Uh, Hale Doomcock. Uh, introduced to him a while ago, and um, he's uh, awesome. So uh, check that channel out, but I will be on there tomorrow night. I, I have no idea what time, but uh, <laughs> I'll be telling my gnome story. I'll eventually get to it on the Paranormal Show here, too. Also pushed um, the... What am I trying to say here? Also push the Bigfoot uh, show to next Thursday because that's what he had on his calendar and I had this week on my calendar, but it was too much anyway. So uh, the move kicked my butt. Um, did see the new Batman trailer. Haven't talked about it on my uh, channel. Uh, <laughs> Pepe Doomcock. Uh, CNC Music Factory. Uh, happy Halloween, my fellow ghouls. Happy Halloween, my friend. Um, and you know what? And, and I would uh, ask everybody to... There is uh, the Vagrancy hor Horror Short Stories. He does some really good... He, he's got some really good content up on his channel. Uh, I would say if you get a chance, go over there and check it out. Uh yeah, it's 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 really cool cool stuff. So uh, go check that out. Uh, Dino has my uh, has Dino has seen my collection. Says Ed Pincus. Oh, Ed Pincus. Yeah, uh, the man when it comes to horror, golden age, silver age, whatever you know, comic books, the the good old golden era comic books, the the mystery mag, uh, it, it, fantastic stuff, man. The art and the nostalgia of that period is just fantastic. So, uh, yes, Ed Pincus, it's nice to have you here. Nikki D, I will get to the questions in one second, really quick. Nikki D, happy early Halloween. Uh, happy early Halloween, Nikki D. Haven't seen you in a bit, but um, good to see you. Uh, Batman is not a fast typer. You would think, 
that that would be part of his power. You know what I mean? But yeah, maybe not. Time Lord 007. What? It, Time Lord 007. Uh, happy Halloween, Dino. Happy Halloween, Time Lord. Hopefully you're doing well, my friend. I appreciate you being here. Uh, but yeah, I did see the trailer to the new Batman. Um, it looks pretty darn good, the trailer. But we all know that trailers don't mean a whole lot. Okay. Um, but what I seen looked pretty darn good. And uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I'm going to do a whole different different video on it i think uh to discuss that because there's some things i want to say about that batman trailer but um looks fantastic tell you there's a couple shows you know uh midnight's after edge uh, gloves get in the way uh, not really that serious but what come uh, gloves get in the way i'm trying to think what's going on there house of mystery and secrets was great answer one freddy krueger i <laughs> good chug and grace and good one um yeah, yeah, I'm not going to get into it. Jeez. Um, oh, I love the new Batmobile. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Um, Robert Pattinson looks like he's he's going to do an all right job. Although, you know when, you know how Batman always says, I'm Batman. You know, he's like, I'm vengeance. So he's trying to go a different way, which, uh, you know, no problem with that. Uh, but anyways, anyways. Gloves get in the way of fast typing, Batman. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gloves do not work when you're typing. You know, you you, you know when you put the cooking glove on and you try to set the timer, you know, you got one gigantic five-inch uh, thumb or finger. Uh, that's kind of what goes on there. Uh, so, you know, here we go. Uh, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button, the uh, likes. Uh, I would appreciate that. Helps the channel out. Comment. Do all that good stuff. Uh, the links become a channel uh, member if you want. You get an extra extra videos, secret Discord group, and uh, you get to support the channel. Um, so yeah, let me uh, and I do gotta update this because it's been a while uh, with moving. I there's more names I gotta put in there, but um, yeah, thank you all <coughs> for uh, being channel members and links to everything are down in the description below uh so thank you guys all very much uh i did see uh hold on one second and i also like to thank the patreons my patreon members uh ed pincus there you go buddy you're on there um but uh yeah wanted to thank all you guys uh you guys are what helped the show um becoming a channel member is kind of a cool thing uh and uh what was i gonna say um I don't even know what I was going to say. Anyways, uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not was a great comic, too. Uh, the first sneak peek trailer was better. Mr. D said, okay. Uh, looks like no snow for TNT tomorrow night. Last year was about an inch. Uh, I dig that new Mike uh, Dino. Looks like a brimming uh, with spooky magic. Yeah, I love this. My other one went on me, and my son said, get this one right here. It's the Hyper Hyper X microphone. And it, you know, it's a little close to me, too. And, and you probably hear me a little bit better, even with the thunderstorm in the background. So there you go. Uh, thanks, Midnight uh, Midnight's Edge. After dark, he's got to run. Have fun with trivia. Thank you very much. Um, I really love the old school vintage horror radio shows that you play. It's past my time, but I like and enjoy it. Bernie Gambano. Uh, you know what? Same here. I mean, it's it's. I wasn't alive when these shows were on, but... I learned to love it one late night uh, when I was a teen. And, um, yeah, uh, thank you very much for uh, being here. So let, let me get to the uh, trivia night now. Um, Tiny Turtle Canes says nuts. There you go. Um, Halloween Kills was freaking awesome. Dino, did you see it? Batman, did you see my uh, Halloween Kills uh, movie review? Uh, I did talk about it on the channel. Did a whole video. Uh, so go check that out. And you can uh, find out there. But um, hey, some loved it. I think it, it was another movie where everybody was split down the middle. Some some liked it. Loved it. Some. Like, I, I you know, it was an okay movie. 
But I had my views on there. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm losing them. So here we go. Let's get to question number one. Uh, <laughs> so here we go. Uh, I read the question up. First person who puts the answer in the uh, chat gets a point. Let's see who wins this week, right? Uh, the Vagrancy Horror Show says, I love Halloween Kills. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Uh, Jughead Grayson, your radio shows is how I found the channel. Yes, thank you very much, Jughead Grayson. Um, appreciate it. And uh, I will be getting back into the flow of things here. Uh, we'll be having a movie review on Tuesday, me and Elise, uh, talking about Inferno, Dario Argento. So I can't wait to talk about that. That will be fun. And, um, yeah, tomorrow we got another uh, Sunday cinema. So got to get that all together, too, tonight. So if I'm not around, I'm doing some work to get caught up. Question for Dino. Did you hear that? The old radio shows on the radio, or was it on tape that you picked it up? Um, when I was a teen, I heard it on an AM radio station in my area, and it was a late Christmas night, and I figured, I, I just came across it on the, the station, and I'm like, this is pretty cool, and not to go into my childhood, uh, I may have at one point on the channel, I don't know, but, um, it was an escape. Okay, so that escape for me was listening to old time radio. So I looked forward to that. I can't remember how many times it was on a week, but I listened as often as I could. And that's what eventually got me going and started me on the uh, old time radio uh, love. Um, I'm going to be going back to the old old time radio shows on the channel. So, uh, yeah, uh, Let's see. Lorraine is here. Patricia Arquette. <laughs> Wyatt is I is here. Nice to see you, bud. The new Halloween kills my enthusiasm for more Halloween movies. Uh, Wyatt is I. Yeah, I mean, most horror fans, I guess, are really, you know, dig the movie, like it, whatever. Um, but anyways, let's get to the questions. I know which channel you are talking about, Dino. Yes, Connie Clary. Yes, 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 yes. Um, anyways, here we go. Are you guys ready for question number one? Missing some people today. Uh, maybe because it's the Halloween weekend. People are out at parties and everything else. But uh, I will be doing these regularly again. So uh, I only missed last week. But uh, things have been kind of twisted in an, in an uproar. Uh, even tonight, CBS Radio Mystery Theater is going to be on tonight. Uh, some good show programs in this one tonight. D always new. I, I think we're up to stream thirty nine. I think we'll probably reach sixty something streams of CBS Radio Mystery Theater. So, uh, but that was uploaded. So, because um, I've got to catch up on a bunch of stuff. So when I'm not in the chat, I appreciate everybody who keeps it going and enjoys each other's company. And yeah, you know, uh, I, I know when I'm not there. You know, things are a little bit different, but William Carey, question for all in the chat. Did anyone ever like to just go out somewhere and go up and down the AM dial to see what stations you could pick up? That was my life. I lived that, uh, William Carey. That's how I, that's how I found out Art Bell, uh, the overnight paranormal shows. That's how I found a lot of different things. So yes, definitely. Um, most of us probably here do if we're old-time radio show fans. Okay, question number one for the evening. Which, man, it's really coming down out there. Yikes. Um, question number one. Which number house does Nancy Thompson live at on Elm Street in A Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984? Mercury Theater. Got to get to those too, Montana John. Yes. Bernie Gumbano. Kith my... No, just, man just asked the first question. Hey. Got to talk too, man. Uh, Johnny Craven. 1313. Uh, 13. <laughs> no, this isn't the Munsters. 
This isn't the monster. 666. Uh, we, uh, 1131. No tab 75 draws. Knew I should have looked that up. Um, there we go. Mr. D. Mr. D has it. <laughs> I'm like, somebody's got to know this. Um, looks like you're the only one, Mr. D. But it is 1428. 1428 Elm Street. So Mr. D gets the first point of the night. Uh, Deb Beck says 77 Sunset Strip. Down at the Sunset Strip. Is that how it goes? I think that's the name of the song. But anyways, um, maybe not. So, very cool. Uh, so Mr. D gets the first point of the night. And I did say it's the original Nightmare on Elm Street movie, but it's it, it this could be any movie in Nightmare. It's kind of the franchise. So uh, there you go. Um, way to go, Mr. D. Uh, I love Car 54. What? Uh, 41. Oh my God! Look at these. Uh, look at these answers. Okay, so question number two. It's on sale for three million. Oh, yes, I did see that. I did see that, Mr. D. Three million dollars just because of the. I mean, come on. Are you kidding me? And somebody, somebody probably will buy it too. I guess. I guess. Wonder what the significance of the number is. Um, well, I have no idea. Anyways, question number two. I wish we could watch 77 Sunset Strip. There's a lot of movies I wish I could. I mean, we're lucky I can play them, some of the movies that I do play. Uh, Ran B, what is going on? Nice to see you in the chat. Just a easygoing uh, Saturday evening here. Uh, having some fun. Nightmare on Elm Street. Question number two. Which Elm Street movie is the following line from? And I know you guys got to be pretty big fans of Nightmare on Elm Street to get some of these questions. So I don't know what to say. Uh, look it up, right? Uh, which Elm Street movie is the following line from? Every town has an Elm Street. Every town has an Elm Street. Which one of the movies is that from? And it's kind of true. Is it? Some psycho killer? Gaskusea. Run, 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 run away. Um, let's see. Freddy's? Nah, which one said it? Come on. You guys going to make me look it up? You guys are just going one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, Miss Riley, 1980. She typed it out. Uh, Freddy's dead. Freddy's dead. The final nightmare, 1991. Fre Freddy's dead. The final nightmare, 1991. So, Miss Riley, 1980, gets the point. At least type it out. Type it out. <laughs> Uh, 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 am, I, am I too grumpy tonight? Am I too grumpy? Reviews from the Beyond, Part 5. Edward Stewart, 3600 Prospect Street. I'm still possessed. <laughs> oh, my Lord, Ed. You're killing me. Uh, Miss Riley, I'm giving it to her because she typed it out. She put Freddy's dead. Uh, so uh, there you go. Uh, nobody said Final Nightmare. This question, I'm not taking one, two, three, or four, or five, six, or seven, or eight, or nine, or ten. Um, one point for you. Let's move on to question number three. Hey, I like Psycho Killer. So do I, Mary. Guess what say? Mm. Um, anyways, here we go. <laughs> Freddy's dead. Curtis Mayfield. Curtis Mayfield. Freddy's dead. Oh. Huh. The storm's going to get the, the electricity's going off any minute. Um, you need an Ovaltine and some M&M's, you know, <laughs> Connie. Uh, that's the ongoing thing. I haven't had M&M's actually in a little while. I've been I've been dabbling into other. I've been dabbling in other chocolates. Mmm. Yeah, you know, shouldn't be dabbling, but I am. I'm dabbling. Robin zero five fourteen twenty eight first organized uh, witch trials. There you go. 
Yeah. Some some early hangings and burnings. No burnings. Hangings, burnings. What else did they do? They whatever they could do. Throw them in the water, tie them to a chair. Uh, terrible, terrible. Man, witches were just. I mean, and you know, they got a bad rap. They got a bad rap. Uh, I got a bad rap once at a Chipotle. And man, man, was I not good for a whole week. Yikes. Chuck, Chuck, Chauvelier Dabbler. I think you meant chocolate dabbler. Yes, dabbling, dabbling. Witch trials. <laughs> Ran B. Werewolf. Werewolf. Witch trials. Witch trials. Come on. <laughs> Dina would probably like a shot of bourbon. Um, yeah, sure. Burn my throat. Why not? Pop her down. Uh, reviews from the beyond. I'm 30 minutes from Salem, Massachusetts. Very cool. I always wanted to go there and, and check out some haunted houses. Maybe someday. When I'm old and gray. When I'm weighing down. Weigh them against the duck. Har har. Okay. Question number three. In which Evil Dead movie do we see Freddy Krueger's glove? In which Evil Dead movie do we see Freddy Krueger's glove? Anybody? Anybody? That was a, a joke worthy of Sven Gulli. John Victor says, Sven Gulli. One time I opened a pack of M&Ms and got several WWs, says Tim the Enchanter. I wondered the same thing. I, that happens every now and then to me. Usually when I'm lying in bed, with my head over the side. Um, oh, let's see. Is anybody got it yet? Uh, Evil Dead. Okay, tab 75 says two. Two. Evil Dead 2. So tab 75 gets a point. It is Evil Dead 2. Evil Dead 2. I will take a number on that one. And I will take a number for my rye bread, my loaf of bread. The local bakery makes, still makes you take numbers. You know what I mean? And uh, my marble loaf, uh, yeah, had to wait like 20 minutes. Unbelievable. Uh, so, yes, very cool. All of them, says RTN. Army of Darkness, says Mr. D. Way off. Yeah, you would think it would be in one of the later ones, right? But nope. In Evil Dead 2. Question number five. Let's keep her rolling. Huh? Let's keep her rolling. Good and plenty. Uh, Tootsie Rose and, and uh, how many candies can we name? Um, so, so some mattress factory did a commercial uh, on our local radio station and I think used every candy to describe the commercial. It was very unique and very, uh, very, very cool. Um, I only get bags of threes, says Hot Toddy. Evil Dead 2, audience zero. <laughs> so Mr. D has one, Mrs. Riley has one, and Tab 75 has one point. So there you go. Uh, where was the glove in Evil Dead 2? Jessica, why, why is... Jessica, why, why is... Uh, <laughs> uh, am I pronouncing that right, uh, Jessica? Jessica, why, why is... Uh, go rewatch the movie. I'm not giving it away. It's in there. It's in there. It's in there. It's in there. Uh, there was a glove in Army of Darkness. Yeah. There you go. Question number four. Question number four. Who? Oh, I blew on it. Oh, what? Um, who is the first character to be killed... By Freddy in a Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Oh boy. Who is the first one to get the axe in a Freddy Krueger movie? Let me know. Oh, 
Terrible D has, has made its way into the chat. Terrible D says the work shed. Thank you. Yeah, well, he's pointing it out. There you go. That's where you see the glove. Close enough. Je Jessica YYS. Um, tab 75 draws. Gets Tina first. It is Tina. Tina croaks. Tina gets the first hatchet chop. She gets Freddy's death. What would she get from him? How was Tina killed again? She was, uh, yeah, just bloodied the hell out of, yeah. Um, so very good. Very good tab 75. It's a, you're not only a good uh, 70s uh, soda pop. Do we say it was a soda pop? Um, hey, you know the new place I moved to here in good old Lakewood, Ohio? Has a uh, Malley's chocolate um, here, and it's one of the older ones, and it has a uh, one of the like soda fountain bars areas, you know, like it, the old school looks fantastic. It's awesome. I gotta go in there. I'm gonna hang out there, like you know, you know how you go into a bar and you sit, pour me another, you know, pour me another. I'm gonna go into Malley's and just I'm gonna down the shakes, man, until they say I, you've had enough tonight, Dino. That's enough chocolate for you. Enough chocolate shakes. You're going to overdo it. But which is true, you know. You know, three big chocolate shakes and, and you know, I, I pretty much had it. So, uh, there you go. Let's see. Johnny Depp, says Jamie Everett. No. Uh, Jamie Everett, how you doing? Nice to see you in the chat today. Um, I know everybody's busy uh, with getting ready for Halloween festivities. Uh, I was thinking of doing some... Well, uh, anyways. Uh, pronounced as a V. Uh, Jessica... Second is a V. Y... Y... Vias. Y... Vias? Eh, you're Jessica. How about that? I'm simply Jessica. Congrats on the move. Hope it went well. <laughs> oh, Toddy. <laughs> oh, my God. Did it go well? I'm dying here, man. I'm dying here. Okay, question number five. Let's let's keep her moving. Let's keep her moving. We got places to be, people to see, things to do, things to chew. Uh, uh, I, that's it. that's all I got. Uh, question number five. Guess. I am two moves short of thirty-one movies in the month. Terrible D. Very good. The Phantom looks pretty stunned. Yeah, he's... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he's, he's looking over uh, up, up at this guy here. Uh, they've been causing a lot of ruckus. Uh, this guy, Herman, he's, he's still pissed off as hell. Uh, nothing I could do about that. But, um, you know, uh, the Phantom looks pretty... Uh, Dino after three shakes. Yep, throwing up. Yep. It's enough. Soda joikes. Soda joikes. I love to Abbott and Costello, Costello in um, Who Done It. Uh... He, they were soda joiks, and guess who they were soda joiks with behind the uh, good old uh, thing? It was Shemp Howard from the Three Stooges. Uh, played in a lot. Played well. Played in a few Abbott and Costello. Uh, Shemp Howard played in a couple of uh, Charlie Chan movies. Well, no, played in one Charlie Chan movie. I take that back. Uh, but yeah, no, Shemp Howard did his thing. Back in the day. He got in as many movies as he could. And then they asked him, come on. We need you. Curly's had a heart attack. Poor Curly. Poor Curly. Uh, I've been there, Dino, only two months ago. Yeah, hot yeah, that's right, Hot Toddy. I do remember in the chat. Yes, yes. Who done it is my favorite. Um, no, uh, me, Abbott Costello Me Frankenstein is my favorite of their movies. Uh, who done it is second maybe I need to rank these for a video um, but uh, yeah who done it is maybe my second favorite but yeah very funny movie also like meet the killer but yeah it's I like the other two better definitely uh, anyways moving on to quick am I on five yet Th one two three four five yeah I, I better shut up I'm zero for five so far says Jughead Mason um, centipede 29 times doesn't count. <laughs> Shemp is hilarious. I love Shemp. He's, he's my, he's my favorite stooge. 
You know, I, I think I'm not. I think there's a lot of people who would agree with me. Shemp is, is my favorite stooge. Not that I don't love the other guys, too. They're fantastic. But um, question number five. Let me shut up. Guess the Elm Street movie from the following review. Okay. Say I'm a reviewer. I'm Siskel and Ebert. Uh, not that they sound like that, but let me pretend to be Siskel and Ebert. And I'm doing a review of, uh, you know, this Nightmare on Elm Street thing. Uh, you know, it, it's a movie review. Uh, it's it's uh, by focusing on the monster instead of the teen iniquities and daring to move past innuendo into fact, this nightmare surpasses its predecessors to outmenace them all. Who is it? Kevin A. Ranson or MovieCrypt.com? Who is it? Wait, what, what, what am I talking about? What's going on here? Question number five. I'm, I'm I've lost myself. Wait, let me see. A nightmare. I'm Oh, yeah. Okay, there you go. So, I'm losing it, guys. I'm losing it. Right on live TV. I mean, right on live stream. I'm losing it. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. But I do got it now. I asked you what movie. So, what movie is it? Um, Hot Toddy. Is Abbott and Costello meets Frankenstein on any streaming services right now? I don't know. But I, that is one that's in my collection. And I make sure that it was in my collection. So, um, let's see. Uh, let me see if anybody's got it so far. Yeah, so far, no. Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Nope, it's not the New Nightmare. Uh, final, no. New Nightmare. Uh, shit, New Nightmare is seven. Yes. Nobody's getting it. Unless, Teresa DiMaggio, what is going on? Nice to see you. Um, wait a second. You know, let me do a quick look here. Um, uh, because I wrote it down without... Uh, here we go, 19... Yeah, no, no. Not New Nightmare, you guys. It's an older... It's, it's 2000s, okay? Let me say that. Does that limit it for you? Um, movie crypt. Hello, William. How you doing, bud? Dream Warriors. Revenge. Dream Warriors. You guys aren't getting it. No, old nightmare. <laughs> um, it's it's the same, but uh, uh, the, 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 the Jughead Grayson. Thank you very much for making me not have to say it without saying it, because I can't say remake. It was the 2010. Remake. It was a Nightmare on Elm Street, 2010. It's the remake. So there you go. So uh, Jughead Grayson uh, gets the point. So there you go. Uh, Jughead. I always like uh, writing that down because I love the Archie comics. And I like the... Uh, what's the TV show that they have out there right now? Um, uh, something wrong with me, you guys. Can't think. Can't remember. Uh, McDougal McStiffy straight up in the air says hello from Roswell uh, I hope the aliens don't get you this Halloween uh, 2021 uh, JB happy Halloween guys happy Halloween JB nice to see you uh, see you in the uh, old time radio show streams but um, good to see you here too my friend uh, so yeah King Kong vs. Godzilla says Dave the Rave Dave's not here man we always go there, right? Um, so, you got one point. Uh, tab 75 is in the lead with two points. And I will get myself together. Riverdale. Thank you, Jughead Grayson. Uh, Riverdale. I do enjoy Riverdale. Man, I, I look kind of a little too far down. I'm going to have to redo that camera. Maybe different angle. I can get more of the toys in. I, I'm going to work on it because I got to get some toys in. Right? Here in the middle? I mean, I got to do that. Uh, don't worry, Dino. I'm still suffering from short-term memory loss due to exhaustion from my move, too. <laughs> Hot toddy, man. It, 
killed me. Killed me. I hate it. Uh, that question was definitely wishy washy, laughing my ass off. Uh, Bernie Gumbano. Gumbano. I think it's Gumbano, right? Bernie Gumbano. Uh, and I don't know about that. Wishy washy. Um, let me just check something here real quick. Uh, sorry, th this has to be, you know, live. <laughs> I am live right now. So, uh, yeah. So, with that said, now that you've seen me text and interrupt, Bolski! Toys are always good. Yes, I will be working on this. And uh, it will be different. But um, look forward to me being back at it this week live with many different things. And I'm eventually... Get some thumbs up too, you guys. We got to make 100 before the end of the night, okay? That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Sherry Divine. OMG, she says. OMG. Oh, my God. What is going on, Sherry Divine? What? How's it going? I'm not sure what the OMG was about. Wait, who said Gene Wilder? I, I see Gene Wilder there. One of my favorite actors of all time. The last remake of Bo Guest. Uh, does Gene Wilder mean anything for the conversation? Um, the Golden Age and Silver Age were some of the best stories. William Curie, you better believe it. Uh, hey, anyways, Gene Wilder. Tops in my book. Uh, I love everything he did, man. Uh, that guy was fantastic. Even his obscure stuff. Uh, but yeah, Riverdale, I really, really enjoyed. Let me get to question number six. Question number six, right? Let's get to some six. Should we get to some six? Six. Not sex, six. That was a Seinfeld episode. That was where Jerry had a lip reader come to the party for George Costanza to lip read the girl he likes because she just broke up with him and he thinks she, he, she's sleeping with this other guy that was at the party and he said sex sex and the lip readers thought she said sex and they got a good Seinfeld is, is just fantastic what more can I say um I better hurry up because uh, Bernie's going to get pissed if I don't read the next question real quick. Uh, Bolsky, I remember when my friend and I went to go see Nightmare on Elm Street in the theater. At one point, someone opened the door to enter the theater and everyone screamed. We all thought it was Freddy coming to get us. Interesting. Michael Spear, that episode was hilarious. Yes, yeah, Seinfeld. Seinfeld was awful, says Jughead Grayson. What is wrong with you? To each our own. No, nothing wrong with you. I, I appreciate you, man. But um, come on, come on. I so there's not a day that goes by that I don't quote Seinfeld. Something going on there with Seinfeld. Um, destiny, destiny. Okay, uh, let me get to six. Question number six. Here we go. What is the name of Alice's dream child in A Nightmare on Elm Street Five? The Dream Child from 1989. What is the name of Alice's Dream Child in A Nightmare on Elm Street 5? The Dream Child, 1989. Does anybody know? I'm Jerry Seinfeld. And I know the answer because I wrote it down. George, what do you think? Huh? Yeah. Agreed, Jughead never understood my appeal myself, not for me. Really? Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's it's funny. It's funny people's opinions and, and what they really like and what they dig when it comes to TV shows and stuff like that. Uh, let me see. Um, <laughs> Jacob? No. Uh, Little Billy? No. Baby Flounder? Good one, RTN. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman? No. Dino, says Jughead Grayson. Jacob Daniel? No. Max? Jacob? You guys are all saying the wrong names. Toby? No. Ringo? No. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. You see, here we go. I got a little issue today. Um, it's been a long week, so that's my excuse. But uh, somebody did say it. I'm looking down and I see Tina. It's not Tina. It's Jacob. So Mr. D gets the point. 
Mr. D's got two points and tab 75 is two points. So there you go. Um, excellent. Excellent. Uh, my goof. Sounds pretty sweet. Christian. What? Christian what? Hans Christian Anderson? Who are you, Hans Christian Anderson? He's a wee folk. Demon. Bert. We're going to have to uh, get an exorcist for uh, Edward. Because he's, uh, he's not doing too well. Montana John. Joe Biden. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Question number seven. Oh, no political talk. Um, nice impression there, Bernie. Yeah. I almost typed something that would have gotten me kicked out. I better realize. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. I really do. Good name for the devil child. Okay, here we go. Let's move on before things get out of hand to question number seven. Question number seven. What is the rather unusual way that Freddy is resurrected in A Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, 1988? What is the rather unusual way that Freddy is resurrected in A Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, 1988? Question number seven. Oh, boy. And this is so funny. If you guys remember, okay, I got you reviews. He says DOS piss. But, yes, he came in first. It. <laughs> um, hold on a second. Uh, wait, wait. Did he come in first? Let me back up. Uh, no, tab 75 draws gets it first. Tab seven, I'm sorry, tab 75 dog peeing. So there you go. He gets it first. Are you master of your domain? I am master of my domain. Yes, I am. The thing that caught me on that. Um, oh, okay, uh, stick a fork in me, Jerry. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> oh, my Lord. So many good one liners. Uh, yeah, most of you guys got dog piss. Uh, very cool. So you guys got that. Yes, the dog pisses on the f uh, fire, uh, pisses fire onto his grave. Uh, so, yeah, 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 very, very good, very good. So, uh, tab 75 is three, Mr. D2, Mrs. Riley, uh, one, and Jughead Grayson, one. Uh, built out of body parts. Frankenhooker, RTN, built out of body parts. Uh, peace fire, yes. Dog fire piss, yes, all of that above. Uh, oh my god, I better hurry up and get through some of the... You're a nation! You're a nation! I'm a nation! We're all a nation! Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all, right? Um, the dog had an STD. <laughs> RTN! Oh my god, people say that resurrection of Jason's... Jason are dumb. Resurrections of Jason are dumb. Well... Uh, their stories. I mean, you know, they got to do what they got to do. I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, I got it first on my screen, so I'm confused. Let me look back up real quick. Let me look back up real quick. Jessica. What? Jessica, you're far behind. Uh, tab 75 came in with dog peeing. And then the Vagrancy Horror Short Stories comes in. And then Dave the Rave comes in. Jughead Grayson comes in. Reviews from the Beyond comes in. Mr. D comes in. And then, Jessica, it says dog piss. So there you go. <laughs> the dog was eating some chili. So I'm not sure how that's possible, Jessica. But, um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's, lo it's a loaded statement. So it's kind of clear. Connie, listen to you. You are, you are doing something today, man, huh? Hello, everyone. I missed love hearts. Love y'all. Hey, JLR. Um, on to question number seven. Yeah, I gotta speed this up, man. We're almost up to an hour. Not that time matters. Does time matter? Time does not matter in space. Well. Captain, it sure, sure, I, I, I'm, I'm butchering this. 
I said I'm going to get better at some of these voices. Going to work on them. Used to be a master. But, you know, things change. So, uh, I'm working on it. Um, question number seven. What is the rather unusual way that Freddy is resurrected in A Nightmare on Elm Street for the Dream Master 1988? Wait, did I just three, four, five, six, seven? Did I just answer that? Ask that? Yes, I just asked that. I'm losing it. You, you guys can just watch me. Disregard it. Stop, stop. Stop what you're doing. Because we're about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to. I look funny. But yo, I'm making money, see? I'm going to question number eight. Let me repeat that, sir. S sir, ma'am. Ma'am, hold up there. You know, you don't have to get so rough with me about this. You know, I'm just doing my job. Just doing my job. So if you can lower your voice just a little bit. I'm going to get to question number eight, okay? Whew! Some people. Fork in a toaster. Oh, remember when Kramer stuck the, the fork in the uh, outlet because the cat was meowing too much next door, driving her crazy? So she... she zzz, and The electricity went out in the apartment, and uh, what ended up happening was the cat died because it was being fed through an electric feeder. Well, she started putting slices of meat. Yeah, long story. Uh, question number eight. Here we go. Um, yeah, I'm losing it, guys. I'm losing it. Go, Dino. Go, Dino. Oh, my Lord. Hump the hump. Yes. Mm. Yeah, I want that big nose from the video, the music video. Do the hump. Talk to me, baby. Do the hump the hump. Do the hump the hump. Okay, here we go. Um... Don't know why I'm saying it. Don't know why I'm doing that. But uh, in which of the Elm Street movies do we actually see the origin story of Freddy being the bastard son of a of a hundred maniacs? Wow, the bastard son of a hundred maniacs. How does that work? How does that work? Jesus cremity. I mean, I don't even want to picture that. No wonder the guy turned mental. You know? That's all I'm saying. Hey, Tom! Greetings, my friend! What's going on? Red ants! Black ants! We're being infested! Uh, hey, red ants. Nice to see you, my friend. Um, let's see. Rest in peace, Shock G. Yes, yes, yes. Um... Want to make sure I get this right because uh, I'm I'm losing it. Uh, it is five, so I'd better realize gets it. I'd better realize that he has a point. I better better b e t t e r real real as in not fake but real lies um, gets a point. Uh, because it is, uh, it is a Nightmare on Elm Street uh, 5. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, Dino Horror Host, rapper, yeah. Uh, I'm working on it, my friend. Yeah, but it's, go it's going to be Dr. Bubonic. That that's what's going on. But uh, if I ever... Uh, step off, dude! Yo, yeah, whoa, whoa! What's going on there, Dave the Rave? Saw the Wild Wild West movie. I can't stop picturing it. But then again, something's wrong with me. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, Hot Toddy, uh, Bridge Over the River Kwai, uh, Dream Master, uh, Part 5, uh, Titanic. Uh, okay, there you go. So, yes, let's move on to question number 9. Uh, is that good? Oh, I, I don't like this. I, I look so low. Look at Maybe it's just a microphone. Do I got to lower it? Maybe if I lower it. I want to sound all right, though. It's first discussed in Dream Warriors uh, to kneel in the chapel. Um... Yeah, should I look it up? Let's see. Uh, Nightmare 5. Yeah, Nightmare 5 is um, Dream Child. So, but yeah. you. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's move on. Question number 9. Question number 9. 
which is an upside down six. And it means um, absolute nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, forgive me for I have sinned. I like the Wild Wild West movie. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. The movie, uh... Oh, wait, wait. Are you talking the the one with um, the remake with... Jeez, uh, what's his name? Uh, you know who I'm talking about. Yeah, not the remake. Um, Tommy Burton! Son of a Hundred Fathers! LOL. Love the ending when the Freddy's hand comes out of the nun's stomach and she is holding on to his arm. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, question number nine. Let's get to it. Donner Pass Whiskey. I don't know how he does it, but he does it every night. He passes the whiskey. Well, I mean, you, you pee it out, right? I, I guess, is that where the name comes? Donner Pass Whiskey. Um, but I love it. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, you should join the Insane Clown Posse. Uh, nah, nah. Was never a fan. Uh, Edward Stewart is here uh, listening and cooking dinner for wifey co-workers. And look, woo, they put you to work, Edward. Uh, see what happens when you watch the ex or listen to The Exorcist all night long, huh? Uh, Will Smith, uh, yeah, not a fan of that one. Uh, question number nine. Which... <clears throat> Which celebrity has not had a cameo in one of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies? Roseanne Barr, Alice Cooper, Weird Al Yankovic, or Zaza Gabor? Ooh, hotsy totsy! <laughs> Zaza Gabor. Um, anyways, is it Roseanne Barr, Alice Cooper, Weird Al Yankovic, or Zaza Gabor? Who did not appear in any of the movies? Uh, shall I ask? Dino, I'm still possessed. <laughs> yes. How do you whiskey? Uh, Ed, Ed. Uh, uh, keep your eye on the cooking. Keep your eye on the cooking. Um, tab 75 draws. Gets it first. Weird Al. Four points for you, my friend. Um, yeah. Yeah. Am I being too silly for the chat today? Uh... Missing Ian and Lisa, but they're uh, probably out having a party, good old Halloween party. Um, yes, Weird Al Yankovic. Uh, it was Weird Al Yankovic. He did uh, have a cameo in the horror movie Halloween 2 in 2009. So there's that. Uh, you know, I don't know what that is, but, you know, uh, he did enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. Roseanne Barr. Yeah. Roseanne Barr. I, I can't do these cold. I, I embarrass myself. Uh, I, I don't really embarrass myself because uh, I'm having fun. I'll chip in on The Exorcist for Edward. Uh, yeah. Uh, Julie Osborne. Hey, how you doing? Uh, nice to see you. Um, on to the next question. Can't burn the biscuits. <laughs> and the biscuits are the easiest to burn, right, Ed? Yes. Because, man, it just takes an extra 60 seconds and you burn them. Question number 10. Jackie Earl Haley, who would go on to play Freddy Krueger in the 2010 remake, auditioned for the role of Glenn in the original 1984 movie. True or false? Is that true or false. Ugh. Hated the Rob Zombie Halloween. Number two was really bad. Yeah, some people are fans of the Rob Zombie films. I'd say if you're a fan of Rob Zombie, you know, you're probably a fan of uh, the movies. Um, tab 75 comes in first, giving him five points. Giving him five points. It is true. Well, Johnny Depp's friends there, yeah? Huh? Um, anyways, let's keep it moving. On to question number 11. Good going, you guys. Good going. Uh, question number 10. 11. Question number 11. I'm losing them fast here, guys. 
I'm losing you guys fast. <laughs> it's all good. Um, what was Freddy Krueger's full name, and what was he known as when he was still a living serial killer? What was Freddy Krueger's full name, and what was he known as when he was still a living serial killer? Question number 11. Such a lovely name. Such a lovely name for a lo lovely serial killer. Gotta love it. I like his music and Devil Rejects, but not the Halloween movie. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Devil Rejects were pretty... Fred Gwynn! What? No. I was confused, but uh, then Jackie Earl Haley was in the Bad News Bears, so he must be older than I thought. Yes, yes, William Carey, for sure. Janitor? Come on, what was his name? Montana John, come on. Don't type that name in the chat no longer. It is forbidden here. I should put it as one of the forbidden words. Um, uh, let's see. I, uh, I'm surprised nobody's got it. Uh, Frederick Krueger Janitor? Um... You're missing, uh, you're missing something. I mean, look it up real quick, you guys. Come on. John Holmes, says Gerbeckus. Whoa. Grandpa Munster. Frederick Krueger Gardner. Um, no. No. I am stumped that you guys can... Well, I'm not stumped. I know the answer, but... Wow. Wow. Okay, you know, I may take... I may take Mr. D's uh, answer because nobody really got it, and he's the closest. Uh, thank you, JLR. Please give a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell. Uh, I'd like to get it to 100 thumbs up before the end. Might not get it this week. Uh, I guess you miss one week, and we got to... It is Halloween weekend, too, so... Um, Jenna Jameson, Montana John. Uh, which one did I say? S Mr. D. Springwood Slasher. I mean, his name was Frederick Charles Kruger, the Springwood Slasher. So I will give this to Mr. D because he got the. Uh, I don't. Everybody was saying Freddy Krueger janitor. I I'm not sure what was up with that, but. Fred Francis L. Kruger the third says F um ha <laughs> Nice to see you here, bud. Uh, so there you go. He gets a point. Yeah. Well both yeah. Freddie Charles Kruger. He was not a child raper, so he just he just killed them. Yeah, I I'm only I'm only removing it. Um, Teresa just because when YouTube picks up uh, and stuff like that in the chat, those words, uh, it, it, there's something that goes on that you guys don't understand unless you stream. But uh, totally all right. I, I know what you were saying there. But Rickerdoodles, the clocks just went back an hour here. Wait, what? That's not this weekend, right? Is that this weekend? MC Photography, Fast Freddy Fringer, Fingers. Nice to see you. I haven't seen you in a while, MC Photography. Um, yeah, do we... Is this weekend the time we, we spring forward fall back? So we fall back an hour? Not this weekend. Anyways, uh, let me move on. L let, me, let me move on to question number 12. Question number 12. Yes. What was removed so I don't say it? Oh, raped. Uh, you know... The bots come around. They see that in the chat. It kind of get, gets to the, the channel. Um, so just saying. Uh, you wonder why we're so strict on these channels nowadays. It's because it's because of the YouTube algorithm type thing and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's, that's it. It's next weekend, right? Okay, good. Because I haven't heard it this weekend. So, yeah, I haven't heard nothing of the kind. So... Next weekend. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Question number 12. 
What is the name of the comic book character created by Mark in A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child? What is the name of the comic book character created by Mark in A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child? The name of the character. Don't say it. You know, I know I shouldn't have say it, said it either, but, you know. Oh, well. Um, did they ever give a reason as to why he kills the... Yeah. Well, he's, he's a bastard child of... Yeah, who knows? I don't know. Let's not even question it. Let's just move on. Uh, I'm sure somewhere in the lore of Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, it's talked about on, on YouTube somewhere. The Beard Hunter. <laughs> Terrible C says the Beard Hunter. Here we go. We're going to have fun. The Wizard says the reviews from the beyond. Uh, Mr. Natural says Tom O. Oh, the cat came up here. Zara. You guys can get a good look at Zara. Zara, hold on. Get Go to the camera. People haven't seen you in a while. Now that the door is open. Okay, what are you going to do? Get down. I don't want to be clawed up by you. Um, Bocephus says Ranby. No. Michael Spears says, that guy. Uh, any Nightmare on Elm Street fans here? Any Nightmare on Elm Street fans? The bastard son of a thousand maniacs. Yes, Ricker Doodle. Uh, yes. Uh, faster than a local madman. Um, anybody, anybody, before I uh, just go ahead. The Phantom. Hint. The Phantom. The character was the Phantom. Billy Martin here, kitty kitty. I thought Zero was a planet on Planet of the Apes. That's why my cats are named that. Tom, I thought I told you guys all that. Uh, I got Zaius, who's the orange cat. So there you go. Uh, Zaius is the uh, orange cat, and Zara is the black one. Um, Cornelius, maybe if I... I don't know. Zero's a girl, so she is. Um, anyways, Terrible D gets it. Phantom Prowler. Terrible D. Are you on the board? No, you are now. Terrible D. 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 Phantom Prowler. On the hour. It's the Phantom Prowler. On the hour. You know... I'm, I'm working on these scripts, these old-time radio scripts. It's not as easy as it seems. But um, I'm getting the voice so that I can... Uh, yeah, I, these scripts will be coming soon. I'm working on it with somebody. And they're going to be fun as hell. The hard part is... and anybody who, I appreciate anybody who does uh, the newer ones because... I've got tons of really good sound effects that I can add, but um, it's not easy, but I'm working on it. Anyways, um, I better realize what did I say of the opera, of the opera, yeah. Yeah, so you guys got to see Zara. It's been a little while, so um, sounds delicious, Ed. Was Ed popping back in again? Uh, finish the food, Ed. Uh, my sis just texted me. She needs to watch Evil Dead for the first time, newbie. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. It's always nice when some of these uh, up-and-comers want to start watching these older classics. Isn't it funny how they always go to the 80s? Because the 80s... Oh, jeez. Oh, I need that. I need that pen. Oh, boy. I'm losing it tonight. I hope, hopefully you guys are having fun. Let me get that pen. Oh, I think I pulled something. Uh, got it. Th there it goes. I'm watching myself on Rewind. This is so unique. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, I'm, I'm reaching down. Okay. There you go. I got it. I, got, oh, I almost kissed the Phantom. I almost kissed the Phantom. That was, that was delicious. Anyways, uh, I should move on to the next uh, question. Johnny has entered the building. Hey, all. Watching The Exorcist tonight and saving Nightmare on Elm Street for tomorrow. Oh, what a spooky, cozy night you got ahead of you. Um, 
Yeah, and CB, more CBS Radio Mystery Theater. There's a couple science fiction ones in there tonight uh, a- after this, and you guys should enjoy that very well. So uh, there you go. The 80s was nonstop horror, Michael Spears says. Yes, sounds strange when 80s movies are considered classics. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm going to take a night where I just talk all 80s horror because... Yes, it was the decade that brought some of the most unique horror ever. And in many different ways from cheap to very expensive in in terms of production. Um, And then just the people who came out of the woodwork becoming uh, filmmakers and just wanting to do this. Uh, You don't get that today. I mean, you kind of do. It's kind of there's there's this thing going on right now where people are transferring over to YouTube with their content uh, to showcase their movies. Uh, it's it's becoming a thing, and I'd like to see more of that. I really would. These fan films are one thing, um, you know, and, and it's kind of spawned off to where hey, I can showcase my my movies or my short films on YouTube, you know? So it is a thing. That's for sure. I love day of the dead. Love it. Love it. It was just creative. Yes. Yes. So many things. Uh, 80s had the very best horror. Most stuff today bores me to tears. Yeah. It really takes something really good for me to, uh, enjoy it. 82 thumbs up. Let's get some more. I want to make it to a hundred. So here we go. Animator and From Beyond. I, I can go on and on. We, we need an 80s movie night. So, And if Ian and Lisa are listening eventually, um, we're going to do a Burbs watch along and just have some fun with the dialogue and the thing. If you want to come on with me and watch it, you can. Um, I will let you guys know ahead of time. Um, I will post that. So anyways, question number 13. How does Freddy trick Jason into returning from the grave in Freddy vs. Jason 2003. Question number 13. Oh, do you guys, do you remember? 21st time, this, got nothing. Okay, come on, you guys. Yes, 100, please. (laughs) Um, I like the bag, (laughs) I like the bag. You guys want me to get my on my hands and knees? Um, I think okay. Tab seventy five draws. Uh, yes, he, I, I get what you mean. Um, uses his mom, uh, meaning Jason's mom. Uh, Freddie pretends that he's Jason's mom. So there you go. So uh, tab seventy five gets the point. Uh, another one for you that gives you six. I think you're gonna run away with it this week. The next closest is Mr. D with three. Mrs. Riley has one. Jughead Grayson has one. And I'd better realize his one. And Terrible D has one. So there you go. The sleeping bag girl. Hmm. Yes, appearing as his mother. So there you go. Uh, dream about his mom. Billy Martin. Yes, yes, yes. You guys all got it. And, uh, and Mary loves Bruce Campbell. Uh, always learning. Uh, very good, you guys. So let, let me continue, move on. Question number 13. 14. Question number 14. Which Elm Street movie begins with the Edgar Allan Poe quote? Which Elm Street movie begins with the Edgar Allan Poe quote? Sleep. Those little slices of death. How I loathe them. Sleep. Those little slices of death. How I loathe them. Question number 14. Which movie started out with that? Very, very interesting. Dream about his mother. This actually... They actually tried to get Betty to play his mom and she said no. Yeah. Um, okay, William Curry... William, why is the pen going? This is a new pen. William Curie, maybe because it fell on the ground. I can't write with this, and I ain't getting up and getting a new one. Uh, it has a point. It is part three. 
Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. Um, although it's not actually a quote by Edgar Allan Poe, nor is it from any other of his works, so why they did that is beyond me. I have no idea. But anyways, um, we don't want to find out how Jason became Jason or why Michael became Michael. That's what makes it scary. Yeah, yeah. We kind of know Michael. We kind of know Jason. We kind of know, though, don't we? Um, Dream Master, actually. Um, Dream Warriors. Um, question number 15. Let's move on to question number 15. Come on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Over here. Okay, here we go. Fake Poe. Yes, fake Poe. It's not the real Poe. It's fake Poe. If you're not rich, you're Poe. I think it just sounded cool for the producers. Beta Poe. You see the new name that they're making Facebook? Not that I care. But who came up with the, the idea to call Facebook Meta? Meta. M-E-T-A. It's not pleasing on the ears. I think it's... Uh, fingers crossed. I don't know. Downfall of Facebook now? I mean, you changed the name to Meta? Meta? That don't sound right. It, it's... I, I don't get it. Uh, Twitter. You know, I got it. Uh, Snapchat. I got it. Instagram. I got it. Meta? The most popular platform on the planet? Facebook? One of them. YouTube, the other. You're going to change the name? Boy, they... Anyways, I'm not getting political here. Let's uh, move on. Let's move on. Question number 15. It's the name of the company only, Metaverse. Oh, are they still keeping the name Facebook? I could have sworn I heard that they were changing the name to Meta. If, if that's the case, the app will still be called Facebook. They're just changing it. Okay, well, thank you, guys. Thank you, Bolski. Hey, I, wanted, I ripped on them anyways. There, there you go. Um, well, that's still another discussion in itself. But anyways, thank you for correcting me. Uh, I'll, I'll whip my back later on with the cat of nine tails because uh, I do that every now and then when I need uh, punishment. So uh, just saying. We can only hope. Take care, Edward, if you're leaving. Have fun with the wifey and the friends that you cooked the meal for. On to the next question. Prior to starring in Wes Craven's New Nightmare, 1994, which 80s horror film had Miko Hughes appeared in when he was just three years old? Question number 15. Uh, this one's easy. This one's easy. Taking them down by the road. Um, what a sad thing to happen. Like Google to Alphabet. The headline said the Facebook was changing its name for the clickbait. It's just the companies that's changing. There you go, John Victor. Sounds like something from Black Mirror episode. Uh, Mr. D. You guys all spelled Pet Cemetery wrong. You all spelled Pet Cemetery wrong. I'm going to give the point to Mrs. Riley for spelling it correctly. Or no, yeah, Miss Riley. No, no, I'm giving it to uh, Mr. D got it first. Four points for him. You're two behind uh, uh, tab 75 now. So there you go. Um, five children of the corn. Yeah. Uh, these franchises. Just, just get it. Yeah, it's Pet Cemetery with an S. It's, it's Sunday Cinema with an S. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, anyways, let's move on to question number um, 16. Question number 16. It's auto-correct. Lots of laugh trying to do my... To be fast. Gotcha. Gotcha, Mr. D. That's that's why Miss Riley should get it. Um, no, it auto-correct, I get it. Again, I said as long as I know you, you know the name of the movie. There you go. 
Question number 16. Which Elm Street movie am I describing? There's a shower. A snake. A school bus. A pool party. And a diary. Question number 16. Well, there's that. Let's see who will get the correct answer. Sorry. There you go, you guys. Doing a little bit of research on the, uh, the old phone there. Uh, dialing up the good old number. Um, oh, I better... Uh, I veered off a bit and I, I missed the uh, answers in the uh, chat. Uh, it suddenly stopped. So that must mean everybody's got their answers in. And I will now tally the board. And uh, Jessica Wyvius, I think, has it. Sometimes that is better than being remade. Yes, yes, and yes. And Jessica, you get the point. It is part two, Freddy's Revenge. Jessica gets a point. Uh, one point to you. Mike Williams, spell it right, damn it. Yes. Bolsky says two. Darn it, got to take Skippy Dog out for the last time tonight, says William Curie. Uh, yeah, let the dog go pee fire, right? Uh, there you go. Freddy's Revenge. Yep, yep, yep. Got it, guys. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, on to 17. Getting there. I'm trying to get it done before 930 here. Uh, question 17. Which star of the original A Nightmare on Elm Street did not appear in Wes Craven's new nightmare? John Saxon, Nancy's father. Lynn Shea, Nancy's teacher. Nick Corey, Rod. Or Amanda Weiss, Tina. Which star of the original A Nightmare on Elm Street did not appear in Wes Craven's new nightmare? Was it John Saxon, Nancy's father, Lynn Shea, Nancy's teacher, Nick Corey, Rod, or Amanda Weiss's Tina? Question number 17. That was pretty quick. Uh, there you go. Um, tab 75. It was Amanda Weiss as Tina. Amanda Weiss. So she, I mean, so tab 75 gets another point. So there you go. Yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. I think this rain's putting me to sleep. John Saxon. Okay, uh, three more to go. Let me get these out of the way. Question number 18. How many seasons of the Freddy's Nightmares TV series were there? How many seasons of the Freddy's Nightmares TV series were there? Question number 18. How many seasons were there? That's what I'd like to know. Cut short. Well, was it really, though? Was it really cut short? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we know who's winning this week. Uh, RTN, Dwight Fry. Dwight Fry. Yes, it was two seasons. Tab 75 gets the point. Two seasons. And, um, yeah, 1988 through 1990, there were 44 episodes. So, uh, yeah, very cool. Dino, love your lightning. Lighting? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Um, I remember her in Better Off Dead. That was a funny movie. Love Better Off Dead. Love it. Uh, love it very much. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys dug the uh, last stream I did. I'm trying to change up the uh, the uh, ASMR streams. Uh, the, the long ride to Dracula's castle in a carriage. So that, that was uh, soothing. I went to bed to that that night. And I dreamt of vampires and werewolves. 
leaping out at the carriage. Uh, but I made it. I made it to the castle, and then I woke up. Uh, so it was very, it was fun. 85 thumbs up. We can't get 15 more. 15 more. I'll read these two more questions, and then I'll, um, I'll just be quiet until the thumbs up hit uh, 100. That'll be fun, right? You guys will like that, I think. Um, love that ASMR record duels. Yeah, I think I've seen you in the chat. Uh, thank you very much. I want my $2. I want my $2, Bolsky. Better off dead. <laughs> the paper boy. I want my $2. Clippity clop, clippity clop. Yes, I love that. Uh, question number 19. Two more questions left. Thanks, Teresa. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm thinking of the next one. I'm, I'm trying to work on a, a yeah, I, I always surprise you guys. So question 19, what is the name of the house that Freddie built studio behind the Elm Street movies? What is the name of the house that Freddie built studio behind the Elm Street movies? 19. Wow. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Thanks, Connie Clary, as always. Oh, we're up to 93. Thank you. I guess you guys don't want to see my, my face just sit here staring at the camera. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're seven away. Um, who got it? Uh, tab 75, New Line Cinema. New Line Cinema. So you get another point, and that gives you nine points. So there you go. New Line Cinema. Mike Williams got it. Terrible D got it. I'd better realize got it. Uh, I want my $2. Uh, Tom Odino, can you show the original Night of the Living Dead? Yes. Yes. I mean, it's so many people have shown it on YouTube that I wasn't sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Why not? Now, even though it's been shown a million times. My audience hasn't seen it. So, yes, I will play Night of the Living Dead. Midnight's Oblivion. I never hit like, but did it for your stream. Your stuff is awesome. <laughs> well, thank you, Midnight's Oblivion. I appreciate that. I really do. The fact that you never hit the like button, but you did for my stream and you love the channel. Thank you, thank you. Much love to you all. I mean, that's why I do this stuff, man. I love it. Uh, you guys have made this fantastic let me get to the last question uh, last question of the evening and here we go the power glove emporium I, I, i'm over here looking at the chat at the same time blumhouse feels like new line cinema to me eh. i can see the hot toddy they're coming to get you barbara they're coming to get you. Oh, she was so annoying in the second half of that movie. Well, in the last third, all of the rest of it, whatever. Question 20. What is the name of the four-hour documentary about the making of the Elm Street movies? Question number 20. What is the name of the four-hour documentary about the making of the Elm Street movies? Question number 20. Pretty good. Thank you, Teresa. Love you too. RTN, Hell Roach Studios. Yes. Rest in peace, George and Merrill. Yes. Rip. Rip him. Oh, <laughs> Tab 75. Tab 75 knew his, um, his Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean, Nightmare Before Christmas. I didn't take nothing, you guys. Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes, it was Never Sleep Again, the Elm Street Legacy in 2010. So there you go. So, uh, uh, Cabold's Corner. Thank you for the shout out for the vagrancy. I do the audio editing and really happy it's getting noticed. Uh, yeah. Oh, very cool. Well, thanks for stopping in. Hopefully I see you in the chat a little bit more often there, uh, Cabold's Corner. But um, yeah, again, The Vagrancy, uh, Short Horror, yeah, where is he? It's so long of a name, what the heck, and, and I'm losing it. Y you know who I'm talking about, you guys. Yeah, good stuff, go check him out. 
Um, yellow submarine. So yeah, so tab seventy five wins it this week with ten points. Uh, next in line was Mr. D with four, and everybody else had one. So there you go. That was a fun, fun. Uh, we got four more, four more thumbs up before I get off the air. The air. I'm, what am I in? A, just a radio say? Oh, four more likes before I get off the air here. Uh, this is WKTT. Uh, broadcasting straight out of Cleveland, uh, the, uh, mistake by the lake. No, 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 it's not no more. It, uh, it has grown. Uh, WTTK, uh, is broadcasting straight on the Cuyahoga river here. Uh, fantastic things are happening to the city. Uh, we need four more thumbs up to, uh, get through this trivia night, a nightmare on Elm street. We got CBS radio mystery theater tonight overnight. Uh, with a limited commercial interruption. Absolutely no commercials. Uh, one of these nights. So we are going to do a uh, long super blubber puss has entered. How are you guys? Sorry I missed the stream. You came in right as it's over. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. We're at 97. We need 100 here at WTTK. Here on Cleveland, uh, uh, the, the, the lake, um, yeah, in, in the river and all that other good stuff. Uh, the good old Metro Parks is what we got here. But, um, yeah, two more, two more likes. Uh, thank you guys. <laughs> there he comes. The Vagrancy Horror Short Stories. Uh, everyone get your uh, alternate accounts. <laughs> uh, good game, all. Uh, yeah. Thank you, my friend. Uh, bonus question says tab 75 draws. Uh, let me get to the rotating room built for the first film. Tina's death was used for what other eighties movie? Oh, land, uh, land. Well, it wasn't a movie. Uh, Lionel Richie's dancing on the ceiling. No, no. Oh, was it used in, um, Oh, that's good. Uh, just knows, notice the cool mic colors. Rick or doodles. Thank you. Two more thumbs up, you guys, please. Two more thumbs up. We got to get to 100. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it's the HyperX. The HyperX, uh, which I can start doing some ASMR. Um, some, uh, not sure you want to hear that, really, but some people do. Like, bring out a bowl of, like, spaghetti and just eat it, like, real close to the mic. And uh, it's, it's a weird thing. I don't know. Um... But uh, who was, uh, yeah, that question, the turning, was it um, break into electric boogaloo, says tab 75. Oh, is it? Is that it? Really? Really? I was going to say, remember they did that in um, uh, Scary Movie, where Tori Spelling was going, flipping around. I thought maybe it was that. Kabold's Corner with a $5 super sticker. Uh, number one, uh, the fox is writing with a good old artistic brush there. And, um, yeah, cute little fox there. Uh, Kabold's Corner. Thank you very much, my friend. I do appreciate it. A uh, hundred thumbs up. Thank you very much. We have made our goal. What the heck happened? The chat disappeared on me. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. The chat disappeared. Totally. But thank you very much. Uh, 102 now. Thank you very much, you guys. Uh, and thank you, Kabold's Corner, again, for the $5 Super Chat. Uh, helps. I would uh, I would say join the channel. Extra content every week. I've been putting a new mar uh, Paranormal Into the Night show up. Even though I didn't do one this week, there was a new one posted. Uh, John Lear. Uh, so that was a very interesting show. Uh, so there are very cool things for the channel members. Not that you care, but I'm, I'm putting it out there. Uh, Midnight's Oblivion, your stream is haunted. Yeah, something happened just there. That was really weird. Uh, the Vagrancy Hor Horror Short Stories, I love uh, how you pronounce Kabold's Corner's name. By the way, that is my sound guy. Yes, yes, he did say that. Uh, I do appreciate it. Um, thank you guys very much. JLR, thanks, Dino. That was fun. Yes, so I will see you guys. Well, I'm not going to see you guys for CBS Radio Mr. Theater tonight.
just because I am catching up on so much stuff, okay? I might pop into the chat at any given time, who knows, but I'm working on tomorrow Sunday cinema and tomorrow night's stream, so, um, and a couple other things. So that is what I'm doing. Uh, thank you all. Everybody have a good, safe Halloween. Uh, hopefully you guys get to go enjoy some parties or enjoy it on my channel. There's always horror here, and I hope you enjoy it, whatever we, uh, I think I'm going to, thank you, Kabold's Corner, welcome to Level 1 Support, I appreciate that, uh, thank you for uh, becoming a member, uh, much obliged, there you go, uh, I tip my hat to you, good sir, did I really, I didn't though, did I, um, so yeah, I will leave you guys go. Uh, enjoy CBS Radio Mystery Theater tonight. It's a good one. Some sci-fi in there. And I'm going to try to put a horror show together for tomorrow night. So uh, there you go. With that said, thank you guys, RTN, everybody. Uh, appreciate you all. And no worries, Dino. Happy Halloween, everyone. Uh, thank